Hello, welcome to Blue Harvest and watch is a new series on the builder on X-Wing from Dave Steeny. Um, the magazine, this is part one which was 99p, there's parts there. Just a quick look through the uh, the little magazine you get with it. I'll not show you everything that came with it. It's uh, this is going to like blueprints and things like that. What we are going to look at today is building the first few bits, which is all it, all it is is a cockpit, one of the guns, and a bit of the R2. So, without further ado, we'll uh, open the open the box up. I've already cut it open just a bit of time, save a bit of time. So you go there's. Uh, there's your cockpit here, you know, all your bits that you need for part one. I did, I, I did open it. I'm not sure that well enough, obviously. There we go. Just don't want to lose anything. I don't think there's any really small parts as yet. But uh, there you go. So your first part is obviously your... That is actually... Pretty flimsy, to be honest with you. Sorry, I'm uh, moving the camera a bit. Uh, but yeah, that's not uh, not very sturdy, to be honest with you. And you've got to click it. You can see that you've got to click it into the into the pegs there. So I hope they are quite strong because I don't really want to break them. So what we've got to do is I keep knocking the camera. Sorry about this. I've got to click into there, which is quite, they're quite, um, quite stiff, well, quite stiff indeed, um, doesn't actually fit to be honest with you, maybe if I, uh, Give it a bit of a you can't see that can you? It's um really I know it's got to stay in place and everything like that. What is really tough is that struggling already. This is this is gonna be um my struggles in doing this as well. It's not like an instructional video. There you go, that's the first one. It's not broken it or anything like that. I'm just a bit wary of it breaking, to be honest with you. I don't want to really force it too much. Um, I'm, I'm, well, I've been building models since I was a kid. The Airfix models, especially the Star Wars ones, with Starship Enterprises, things like that. But I do like, I do tend to rush through things and. Uh, Want to build them pretty quickly, but I did the Millennium Falcon. I still got actually still got a few bits to do on the on the Millennium Falcon, and I wish I'd have done a uh, video series on that. So there you go. There's your uh, cockpit done. So that can go to one side. Turn the page and go to the next one. I don't think all these bits are going to be used today. So what we have here is the gun. That's just three parts, a bit look of it. And I've heard this is uh, not an ad ideal um, build, but I'm going to give it a go. You obviously don't glow them at this stage. And I think that goes, I'm not sure if that goes in there. I don't really want to uh, That's supposed to go. That's supposed to go on there, obviously. I don't want to push it in too hard, to be honest with you. There you go. Oh, that's uh, not as flimsy as, a, as as I was led to believe. That's pretty sturdy, actually. So there you go. That's the first of the four guns. The not turrets, either the 
the two guns out. What? Well, there's the cannons. <laughs> so yeah, that's obviously you can see there. That is the first of the uh, part of the laser cannon. I'm gonna get four of those, obviously. So that's the next part done. So next we need to go on to R2 D2. So we need this little three little bits. The dome for R2. And I got me yeah. Uh, sharp knife. I should have a cutting board really to be honest with you but I'm just going to uh, I'm going to wing it actually slot first of the let's just just make sure that I cut it properly it says it does say break it off but I want to want it to be nice and neat yeah, oops, cut it to the yeah. magazine, but never mind. So it, it does go to, doesn't actually show which way it goes, but let's just try and put it in. Um, if it goes that way or that way. Looks like it goes that way. Again, the, uh, the instructions could be more clearer. More clear is that a word? So that's that's fitting quite nicely. If you can see that, uh, quite nice. Fitting there quite nicely. It does actually show you there that that's correct. The sec snap off the second. I'm not going to snap it off. I'm just going to cut it. Again, I don't want any loose bits. I don't think it really matters because it's actually going inside the dome, isn't it? So, I need to turn the page. I'll put those to one side because uh, I don't think we need those quite yet. Maybe not till next week. So if you can see the picture there. It is the back end. Again, it's not really showing you very well. Um, looks like it goes. I can't really see. I, can't really see. I could do with tweezers actually. It looks like it goes in that way. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So that's in there. Maybe a uh, blob of glue on that because that's quite loose. Unfortunately. Hang on, does that not? Oh no, that goes in. That goes in the top, don't it? That's why it's loose. Oh dear. See how, how easy it is to go wrong. It's a good job it wasn't a tight fit because it wouldn't have... Uh, probably wouldn't have come out. That's... Needs to fit in there. I don't know if you can see. That's it. There you go. That's right this time. It's quite detailed for a little little model, I suppose. And this bit, I didn't need the knife, but there you go. As you can see, there are plenty of holes. And I think it's that one there. It looks like it's that one. You can see the it's focusing on that. I'll take that away. I might focus on it a bit better. No. No. 
Anyway. It's a bit like my eyes. And that should just slot in there. Yep, there you go. That focuses on that last, so there you go. That's another one. And that's that done for that one. For the R2 dome. And that's it for that's it. That's your lot for today. For this week. Um I should be getting part two next week. I may order it. I may order it so I might do it. Uh, you get you get four four issues a month. I may do it that way. I may just get it from the news agent. I'm just gonna wing it. If um if I get enough views I will carry on building and build this X Inker because I've not a lot of room left, but you do get a bracket for the wall. Me Millennium Falcon is on a table, I've built a table. Display table. So uh, that could have gone on the wall. It's on it, 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 it is on his bracket, but it's on the I've bracketed it on the table. So it looks like it's raised off the ground. So there you go, there's your R2. Uh, I'll show you what's uh, that's next week. Those are the parts for next week. You get the legs for R2. Uh, the week after, you get a bit more. They're not going to give you all the R2 straight away, obviously. Plus you get your, uh, your crappy little um, screwdriver. I think I got three or four from uh, the Millennium Falcon. They don't last very long. And the screws are very good, but it works. So that's issue one of Build Your Art Next Wing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, just press like, uh, leave a comment, and I will build this X Wing weekly if you so wish. Like and subscribe, and uh, check out my other videos. I've got plenty of Star Wars vintage videos to watch so until the next one i'll say goodbye and thanks for watching